Hey guys, if you're new to our channel, I'm Jordan. I'm Maddie. And we're Tangerine Travels. And you are Tangerinis. <laughs> Affectionately, we call you that. <laughs> In our last video, we had said that we might have to leave Ahihik soon. And right after we made that video, we, we got, got notified <laughs> that we have to get the heck out of here. We are in not so much panic mode, but definitely planning mode in terms of where are we going to live next? Where are we traveling next? We're hoping for some input from you guys, where you would like to see some videos, where you think it'd be worthwhile for us to travel. But in the meantime, today we're going to be talking about something that is so, so popularly asked on our channel. So what is this question we keep getting asked? It's all about food and water in Mexico. Is it safe? Can we drink the water? Do we eat the food? Do we eat raw food? Only we put ice in our drinks. Do we eat salads at restaurants? How do we wash our food? What's safe? What's not? Do we get sick? How often have we gotten sick? We're gonna be answering all those questions and more as we're bopping around the Lake Chapala area today. Preparing for our trip. And so as you guys are watching this, please keep this in mind. We're not health professionals. These are just our experiences. We're not out here testing food for E. coli or uh, doing studies or anything <laughs> crazy like that. This is just what we've learned over the course of eight, about eight months of being in Mexico, traveling from city to city. If you have a different experience or a story that you think would help others who are considering coming to Mexico, living here, traveling here, please share it in the comments. First, and probably the most popular question, is the water in Mexico safe? And How would you answer that? Well, that's a huge question and it's got to be broken down a little bit, so that's exactly what we're going to do. First, is the drinking water in Mexico safe? If you're talking about the tap water, we've been told time and time again, do not drink it. It is not safe unless you filter it extensively, which we do with our Berkey. We can, we'll link to that in the description in case you're curious about the water filter we use while traveling. How about the water in restaurants? We can go into more detail on this later in the video, but when we first came to Mexico, we thought you had to order bottled water at a restaurant in order to be safe. In fact, that's what most people say in Facebook groups and things like that, so... But we don't really agree with that, um, but we're going to get more into that and there's some other variables to factor in. Although we've been told time and time again never to drink the tap water and we don't drink the tap water, but what extent do we use tap water? Well, we use it to shower and we use it to brush our teeth. People say it's fine to use to brush your teeth. That doesn't really make sense to me though, because it would be entering your body if you're putting it in your mouth. So if you're here just visiting for a week or something, I absolutely would not use it to brush your teeth because you're going to be introducing new bacteria into your system and you're probably going to get sick. What about washing dishes? Uh, yeah, we wash dishes with the tap water and vegetables, cleaning, things like that, that's when we would use uh, the filtered water from the Berkey or filtered bottled water of some kind because you're trying to get the bacteria and germs off of it, not soak more into the produce. The next thing is, is it okay to order water at a restaurant? Sometimes they say they only have bottled water and in that case they don't have what they call a garrafon which is a five gallon jug of drinking water. Which in the US you might be familiar with as like sparklets or aquafina or something like that. Yeah, so if I were just traveling to Mexico for a week, I would only order bottles of water at a restaurant. Just to be on the safe side. Yeah. Because it would be rare, I think, that they would serve you tap water. But mm -hmm. if they did, or if they put ice in there that had particles of stuff on it or something, you just, you don't want to risk ruining your whole trip by yeah. doing that. But at most restaurants you can order a glass of water and that's going to be filtered water and you don't have to ask for filtered water in order for that to happen. Next up, ice. Ice, baby. <laughs> can you put ice in your drinks in Mexico? Now that we've been living here and we've ordered stuff with ice, I personally don't think we worry about it at all. Often you see them carrying in bags of ice to the restaurant and it is completely clear. You can't see the air bubbles in the ice. So that's a pretty good indication that it's filtered. If you're only staying here for a short time or just going to Cancun or something for a trip, maybe avoid ice just to be on the safe side. Although it, I feel like it'd be pretty rare to have someone freezing ice from tap water. So It's probably going to be just fine to have drinks in your ice in Mexico drinks in your eyes? Ice in your drinks. 
in your ice. And obviously, if you're making ice at home, use filtered water, not tap water. One that we get asked all the time is have we gotten sick from eating the food or drinking the water in Mexico? And I was getting so sick from food in the US, whether that was the pesticides they were putting out on it, ge genetically modified foods or something else completely, maybe the mercury poisoning I was dealing with, I don't really know. But when we came to Mexico, I was less sick from eating food. I could actually eat food again. So. For me, I think it would be a completely different situation than for most people, and I do still have existing food allergies like gluten, and sometimes I've gotten poisoned by gluten things sneaking into my food, but Jordan on the other hand... As for me, I'm probably more of the typical situation where food didn't make me sick in the U.S. Mm -hmm. I came here during the, about the first month, I got a little stomach bug maybe three different times, and each time it lasted for between a few hours or a day. Nothing major, nothing that took me to the doctor, nothing that made me too concerned. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you're coming here and you're being exposed to new water, new food, new organisms. Bacteria and stuff. It's just, yeah. it's natural. There's just foreign bacteria here that the body is not used to when living somewhere else for a long time. Yeah, so you're coming to a new place, expect to get a stomach bug here and there. I was just looking at these mountains and admiring them behind me and this is one thing that we're really going to miss about the Lake Chapala area. It is absolutely gorgeous, especially in the rainy season. So now we're here at Sunrise Restaurant. It's our first time here. And I actually remember when we were first traveling through Mexico, we were always so certain, so careful about the water we were drinking, sipping it, looking at it, and ordering bottled water and things like that. Now we order glasses of water, glasses de agua, without even asking. And this tastes perfectly filtered. And if you think about it, I mean, restaurants don't want to make all their customers sick so they'll never return. It almost doesn't even make sense that they would use tap water, so there's also that. And also, if you have a gut feeling, if you notice something, hey, this restaurant doesn't look very clean, then just avoid it. I think common, common sense, sense has helped us or kept us from getting sick more often. Another question that we get asked is, do we only drink bottled things, like bottled beer, bottled water, bottled soda, things like that. There was a time when we were in Guanajuato and someone was like, oh my gosh, you guys, I just on my head. Don't drink agua frescas because they use tap water if it's kind of on the side of the road or something to save money. And since then, we made a point of looking at these places that sell agua frescas and they always have those big buckets, those big, Got a phone jugs of water. So that when we using. came here, um, I didn't know what an agua fresca was. <laughs> Want to explain? Oh yes, an agua fresca. That's where they use fresh juice or fresh fruit, fresh leaves like mint and fresh seeds like moringa. That's a combination we really love. Herba buena with moringa, and they sugar. add water, sugar. It's delicious, refreshing. Mm. To keep this vacation thing short, should you get bottled stuff or can you get a margarita? If you really want to be safe, stick with the bottled stuff. But am I going to go to Mexico on vacation and not order a margarita? No, I'm not. There's also people who worry that the alcohol in Mexico might be tainted because they've seen things on the news saying that it was high alcohol content, poor quality, makes people sick, it has killed some people in the past. We don't really know anything about that, but again, if you're very concerned about that, take it easy. Maybe have a margarita, and if it really gets you where you want to go, then just err on the side of caution again. So we're going for a little walk here, which we like doing, kind of helps us clear our head, and of course, we're just trying to soak in as much ahi heek and Lake Chapala as we can before leaving. And we were talking about how the interaction at the restaurant, we didn't even have to think about anything that was going on in Spanish. And it occurred to us, wow, when we first came to Mexico, everything, every single word that came out of our mouth had to be a conscious thought. Like we really had to consider, what am I trying to say? How do I say that in Spanish? We're like, man, we didn't have to, I didn't have to think about 
anything that just happened. That's so cool. When we first came here, anything more complicated than gracias, <laughs> it required a conscious effort from us. So we're gonna get right back to telling you about the food and water in Mexico, but we wanted to bring this up because it's super encouraging. Looking at the progress that we've made since being here, after doing about a year's worth of lessons before coming to Mexico, and it's only been eight months, and we can pretty much have all the basic conversations and all the interactions that we need to, that is thanks to continuing our practice with rocket languages. We just want to share this with people because we do get asked all the time how we're learning Spanish and oh my gosh, it's improving, which thank you guys. <laughs> it's really encouraging to hear that stuff. If you want to learn Spanish like us, look in the description. We'll put a link to rocket languages. By far the best way that we, we recommend. It's going to be the same price for you, whether you purchase it through their website or through clicking on our link. But if you do purchase it through our link, well then we get a nice chunk of change from that, which helps us continue our travels. And show you guys more places in Mexico, maybe even the world. We were just about to get back into the video and we decided to cut out of this little middle section where they have horses and stuff because there's a bunch of bugs. And as I'm walking through this little cutout in the fence, I feel something on my face which I thought was a branch. But I look back as Jordan is walking through and notice it's a gigantic spider web with huge spiders like four or five inches big. And I'm like, duck, 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 duck. Jordan freaks out because he thought I was talking about a duck. <laughs> How much damage could a duck do? Maddie's pointing directly behind me saying, duck! Well, no, like up, it was above your head. <laughs> I'm thinking there's a duck coming to attack me. <laughs> oh, I knew it. There's spider webs all over my face. Uh, and I see these giant spiders. <laughs> it's gonna take a while to repress these memories. Anyway, back to the point. <laughs> Is street food safe to eat? Is it safe to get food from vendors? I don't think we've had any noticeable problems with this, but if there's any food that I would recommend being extra careful about, it is street food. Because that's the time when it's probably more likely that people aren't going to be washing their hands as thoroughly because they don't have running water. I think it can be easy to let food fall below the temperature that it needs to be at <laughs> safely to prevent bacteria from growing and things like that. That being said, I don't think we specifically avoid street food at all. In fact, that's some of the most flavorful and delicious food we've ever found throughout Mexico. That's what we seek out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a lot of times it's cheaper, but you still should be aware of the cleanliness and if you're feeling like it might be a little sketchy, just don't eat there, obviously. The few times I've gotten sick, I don't know what it was exactly that made me sick, but the very first time it happened, we were in Ciudad Obregón. This was probably the worst stomach bug I've gotten. It maybe lasted a day, maybe. Oh my gosh, I have the heebie-jeebies. I think there's spiders on me now. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, okay. It might have lasted a day or something. What I was thinking at that time, you know what? My diet has changed a whole lot since coming mm -hmm. to Mexico. I'm eating tons of beans, lots of corn and tortillas and stuff. Spicy so, food. Yeah. I mean, we were using a lot of spices before, but definitely like spicy, spicy food. So was it a stomach bug or was it just a change of diet? I don't know. People often ask, is the food safe in Mexico in general? We did a whole video on this a while back, talking about how we think the food is better here than in the US. And that's why I said earlier that I don't get sick here from food and I was getting terribly sick in the U.S. So I have a little bit of limited experience with coming to Mexico on vacation with my family. Just talking about ordering hot food versus something like a salad. Well, in my experience, if you order hot food, you're less likely to get sick. Every family member of mine who ordered hot food, whether it be quesadillas, tacos, fajitas, or whatever, didn't get sick. But people who were ordering a salad repeatedly did end up getting sick during that vacation. So that's something to think about. Whether that's always true or if that's just my personal experience, I don't know. And the final question that we get asked a ton is how do we take care of washing our produce? We just wash it in filtered water, but that's... honestly we could do a little bit more. Yeah, because that's not going to kill all the bacteria or parasites or anything else that you need to worry about. So we would recommend getting essential oils to do this, like citrus oils are pretty good. Also, there are citrus, wa or not citrus washes, produce washes that you can get at a lot of markets. So it's not something that you have to search too hard to find, but we do recommend doing that in filtered water no matter what. 
Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like what we're doing, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do. And... <laughs> that is so loud. <laughs> I promise it won't be this loud when you gong that bell. <laughs> so you get notified when we put out new videos. And we will see you there. Is that what? Irish? I have no idea what accent came out. It was supposed to be a southern accent.